Hello. The fact you're able to hear this means that everything has worked according to plan. If you're seeing this then, I've already gone into hiding, so rest assured. I was only able to buy myself an hour, so now I have less than 10 minutes to walk you through my presentation. With that being said, let's make haste. I am from Team PHSS CSAD 10 SG1435, and I am one of the finalists of the RoboCup Singapore Open 2021 Challenge. A little bit more information on me. I was born in the Philippines, however, I am one of the finalists representing Singapore in this competition. Elaborating more on my experience, I have been a member of Robotics Club since 2015, from my primary school to currently my secondary school. As for my RoboCup experience, I have participated in RoboCup competitions for three years in a row. With regards to our mission, our task was to complete the map provided to us by moving our robots to its final assigned destination in the fastest time possible. The robot also had to follow the lines on the road of the map provided. However, we also had minor yet necessary objectives throughout the map. In the map, there was a total of 5 checkpoints where the robot must stop at for 2 seconds before continuing to move to the next one. I've been tasked to give you an exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge, so let's give it a read. The category I'm participating in is the Coast Space Autonomous Driving U19 category in the competition. During the challenge, I had encountered a couple of problems and investigated them ASAP. I found myself having to choose between speed and stability for the bot, along with the different possible routes available. To solve these problems, I had two methods, process of elimination and experimentation. As a result, 40% of stability in the end was sacrificed for speed and the fastest possible route was found and incorporated. With stability compromised, however, the bot was undoubtedly faster, but prone to going off track on the sharper turns of the road, making testing of newer speeds more inconvenient. In other words, more than four hours was spent on a single second difference. As for resources, the tools I had used for this competition was the Graphical User Interface, or GUI for short. Personally, I had used this method in programming my robot, as it is visually simpler compared to C or Python. The GUI provides a layout that I describe has a more game-esque feel to it. Apart from this, it makes input a lot easier as well. However, the GUI too has disadvantages. For instance, more advanced and complex programs are trickier to code, such as getting the bot to turn and always face one specific angle from its current direction, whichever it may be. Another disadvantage I find is that the GUI is less universal compared to C and Python. Less universal meaning you could only find the GUI within the CoSpace software itself. Python, on the other hand, is found and used in game development, website development, and is generally so much more versatile. Moving on to AI algorithm and implementation. The robots are autonomous. Thus, it does not need the programmer to be on the driver's seat, in a sense. The robot, when on the field, is constantly checking whether a condition is fulfilled or not. Let's take the example of the robot reaching a checkpoint. The robot must stop at the checkpoint for two seconds before continuing to move. It's a requirement. So, how would the robot process this information? Well, when the program starts, while it is ongoing, the robot would ask itself, Do I sense a checkpoint? If no, it would continue asking itself until it senses a checkpoint. Then, it would stop moving for two seconds before continuing to move, repeating the cycle again and again. After the first question, the robot would also ask itself, Has the program ended? If no, 
you guessed it, it would go back to asking itself the first question. If yes, however, the program ends. Now that's all fine and dandy, but as you might guess, things sometimes... Okay, okay, things often don't go as planned. Most of the time, the robot would just be one degree off from sensing a color that tells the robot to make a sharp turn, making the robot go off track once again. However, sometimes it does sense the color. It just wasn't coded right. So I use printf in my advanced actions tab of the GOI. With printf, it would send like a message to me through the code space, quote unquote, command prompt tab, telling me, hey, this program is in action. I sometimes also use the debug information tab as well to check for the current action. Let's quickly wrap this up. I don't have much time left. In conclusion, the results were fair in terms of quality. They weren't the best, nor were they the worst. A bit of self-feedback. If I were asked to solve the same problem I get, I would take note and write down different, more experimental speeds of the robot onto a table or a chart, then mark out which speeds are safe to use that wouldn't compromise stability too much. Basically, experiment around with it. Have fun. Overall, my experience with CoSpace has been positive. Over the years, I had learned the rather valuable skill of troubleshooting. Albeit it sounds like a more technical term, this skill can too be applied in everyday life. Through this competition, I have gained more experience and this mindset of don't let a giant intimidate you. Okay, you see, the map they provided was huge. Initially, there was no clear finish line, and it definitely left me more puzzled than I would like to admit. <laughs> Before I would react, I knew there had to be some clue. Perhaps it was hidden within a PDF file in the download. And it was. In other words, when the problem is this huge issue, Break it down into smaller bits that would be simpler to solve, and before you know it, the problem becomes simpler. With that being said, thank you for your attention. Uh, I must take my leave now, I, I cannot stay here for long. The coordinates of my location would be found within the txt file in the thumb drive I left behind. In the meantime, this was PHSS CSAD 10. SG1435. Have a good day. Take care and stay safe. I'll be expecting you.